Royal Australian Air Force is experiencing a number of firsts. It's receiving its first EA-18G growler, and it's the first country other than the United States to get one. It's going to change the game for us, and it's pretty exciting for us. And the aircraft itself recently had its first flight. <laughs> Boeing test pilots put it through its paces with aerobatic maneuvers in the skies over St. Louis and touch and goes. Beyond the growler's fighter's speed and agility is an ability that can't be seen with the naked eye. To win a battle in the air, on the land or on the sea, you've actually got to get control of the electromagnetic spectrum and that's what Growler's going to do for us. Growler should give us the tactical edge to get the very best out of the current systems that we've got and for them to work together better. Plan Jericho, the Royal Australian Air Force's system integration plan, aims to do just that. The key role with AEA, so Airborne Electronic Attack, is really about protecting your ability to have freedom of manoeuvre and freedom of decision making and denying it for the enemy. Next stop, naval air stations in China Lake in California, then Whidbey Island in Washington for training with the U.S. Navy and master the electronic warfare mission. We get to leverage the decades of experience that the U.S. Navy has got uh, in electronic attack that we just don't have in Australia. The first of 12 Australian growlers is slated for delivery in 2017. They will play a key role in projecting Australia's air power, transforming how the Royal Australian Air Force fights and wins. When we have the great growler capability, we really do have a full spectrum force. In many respects, it's the final piece in the jigsaw puzzle for the Royal Australian Air Force.